Bit of a Debbie Downer though. I brought the Shrek mask out to put behind the goal. Ooh wee! So behind me is Children's Mercy Park, which is the Sporting KC Stadium. Are we recording? Audio? Yes, we are. Now I'm actually pretty nervous about today as I try and shove my phone in my pocket. So we're on a part two from yesterday where the Shrek Crocs, it's the part of the story where the Shrek Crocs go from being my weakness to my strength. You know, Oliver was bloody ridiculous. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous. So I'll give you an idea of what was happening today. Uh. So this weekend is a pro experience as if you are a pro soccer player. Oh my gosh, there's cars coming, I didn't even look. So yesterday was like training, looking at the training facility. And today, today is playing at Children's Mercy Park. I've never played in a stadium before. So we'll see how this goes. I'm looking forward to it. So for this part, everyone's pretending that they're pro players, like dressed up nicely. And that's where the Shrek shoes come in. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes. All right, let's go do this. So this is, I guess, the UMB Field Club where we're gonna be spending some time afterwards. Looks pretty nice down here. So a little fun fact, Sporting Kansas City used to be called the Wizards. This is kind of a cool hat, but white with a child is not ideal. Coming out onto the field, having a quick little look. Oh, heavy ass door. Dude, that'll do with how level that is. So why am I actually nervous? It's because for these videos, for the TikTok videos, there's always a storyline of how does the weakness become the strength. So yesterday, the weakness was that I'd forgotten proper shoes and I had to walk in in front of a ton of people I didn't know with Shrek Crocs. And how does that become a strength today? Well, we'll find out. But the interesting part of it is the fact that I, I, don't, I don't like being the center of attention, which I know feels weird for someone who makes videos and is the center of attention. But I don't like being in front of everyone and everyone focusing on me as if I've wanted to be the center of attention. But I also have to remember that my primary goal is to make a video that's fun to watch. This is an awkward feeling position. And there's no reason I should be embarrassed about this. It's all for the fun of it. So we we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Let's do the clothing parts next the well-dressed part. Brilliant news, what's happening next is we're gonna do the walkout in our nice outfit and then do the tour. So I'm gonna have to wear this bloody thing for the rest of this tour. This, this is the part where I change and we do the walkout. Oh dear. I need to set the camera up outside because there's no one recording video. So I'm gonna need to do it like this. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it's <Jimmy's> so hard. <laughs> You ready? Time to shine. Get in my swamp! Where's my princess? Get in my swamp! All day? I can't see shit. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm really trying to learn how to be uh, just more confident with things like this. Just not care, just realize that it's for the fun of it. But it's tough. But I think taking a step in the right direction like this is the move. This is the Audi Sport Club. I'm not sure what to expect of this. But it looks nice. I don't know why I'm giving it that face. It's not that cool at this point, but it's nice. Oh my gosh, that looks like hell. That's like a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, at least, yeah. So this is the control room. Everything is controlled from here, like the new light show. I'll add a clip in here from the Houston Dynamo game. I thought it was sweet when it first came on, because I, I hadn't been here in a few years to watch a game. And then when I saw that, the light show, I was like, that is, that's a huge, really cool addition to like get the people watching like subconsciously hyped up. I thought that was a cool spot. Down and go to the boot. Start warming up. Hello. All right, so this section of the tour, I think this is the last part. This is the boot room, which is like a, a speakeasy, I've been told. So you have your scan to get in. You've got all the old boots here. Welcome. 
Look at the state of those. <laughs> Bloody hell. Just like, well, we need some cleats. How many should we put on? All of them. Like, you think these are absolutely vile. Those are hideous. That's pretty sweet. This must be the premium area of the speakeasy. Because in here, you've got Pele and you've got Maradona. I feel like the seats here are the perfect color under Maradona, but they should have been yellow for Pele. It's nice though. You got little curtains as well. Oh. No prices on the drinks, you know what that means. Dude, this is sick. Look at this place. It's nice, isn't it? I've right, got coaches locker room in here. There's not really that much to it other than a sexy Shrek in the mirror. Oh, you wouldn't have the whole team in here, would you? Here is the war room. It's where you talk tactics and whatnot. I wouldn't say nothing too special about this. All right, this is the equipment storage room. I think we're on more just like laundry and then you've got, I'm too bright for this, aren't I? Just loads of flags up around the wall, which is kind of cool. I mean, most of these are sporting ones, but then you come over here, you've got Swansea City. Put your finger out of the way, Oliver. Up here. That's really close to where I'm from. Pentacampion, Olympiacos. They used to be a threat. Not so much anymore. Cactus pricks. Yep. You can see they've got some hydrotherapy pools going on in here. These aren't as nice as the ones that we were using yesterday at the training facility, but I'm sure water's water, right? Best spot in the house. All right, and now we go get changed. Oh, what's that? It's time for Shrek to play. Yeah. Ooh. All right, switching out the Crocs for a pair of these crappy right. things. <laughs> we can't wear cleats, so we've got to wear turfs. I don't have turfs, so I've got indoor shoes. That's all I've got. <laughs> Double knot. Double knot. All right, game time, isn't it? We head out onto the field. Big game today. Big game today. A bit of a warm up. Got some bivaroonies. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I turned it away from you as you were coming in. This setup for the right shot. I've just realized how cool this is as an experience for families. To, so your kids can like come up and play too next to the stadium. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we're doing the walkouts. Are we okay? Going 11, because I'm I'll sit out for a bit, someone else can play. 11s? Yeah. Okay. Bench to begin with. I feel like everyone else here has paid for the experience. I haven't. They should get more out of it than I should. And it's not essential that I play, so I'm gonna bench for a while. Oh, I like that. Oh do you remember what life insurance guy's name is? Eric? Eric, is yeah. that it? Okay, cool. Eric Sub! Good stuff. I want a Robbie Fowler line smith. That's a celebration. Yes. Yeah. 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 Man on. All right. Good corner. Three, one, two, three. Nice work. That's Trump's wall on the offense. Peter would be down your throat about that refing. Absolutely. Good stuff. Dude, this stupid freaking camera keeps overheating. But that's good fun. I think this is my first time ever in the middle of a field. Field. I've been on plenty of fields, of course. One of these. Bit of a Debbie Downer, though. I brought the Shrek mask out to put behind the goal. I was going to give it the old uh, Robbie Fowler sniff the line <laughs> celebration. <laughs> but we didn't get to do that. I missed too many. Honestly, I really enjoyed the experience. I think at the end, let me see if I can balance this. It just looks like I'm spreading my legs in front of you, doesn't it? I went into this, not really sure. Come on, Shrek, get down a bit. How I felt about it. There's a part of me that thought this was kind of a stupid experience for 
the washed up soccer player who couldn't quite let go of the fact that they were never pro. And now they can pay to experience a similar thing. But speaking to the guys here, oh sorry, that was one of my thoughts. And the other thought was just like, it's a cool experience to get to go and do because it's not something you many people are able to do. But speaking to the people here, the people that were doing it, it's more not that they get to role play as a professional player, it's that they get to experience this, this side of life that most people never get to experience and only a select few get to experience because they have a genius at what they do. And when you look at it from that angle, you realize that, what do I realize? Not to be so judgmental. Also, everyone's got their families here, but because my wife and I live here on our own with our boys, it's just way too difficult to ask her to come out and look after the two boys for the whole time. <laughs>